welcome to our canine Hannah Somatics experience. Canine Hannah Somatics is a mind-body approach developed with human beings um, from the work of Thomas Hannah and now applied to dogs. This experience will show you how to do canine Hannah Somatics with your dog. This work is very dog-centered. It works with the contraction patterns of the dog. It goes in the direction of the dog's contraction patterns and then slowly moves out of them. So there is a basic protocol that we'll share with you in this uh, canine Hannah Somatics experience. With me is Ed Berry, doctor of veterinary medicine, a well-known vet in the Cloverdale, California area and beyond. He's also a psychologist and he teaches at Meridian University. So Ed, how did you come to know about this work? Well, I, I come to it naturally because I came to it mm -hmm. through um, uh, injury that I had. So I experienced uh, the uh, Hannah Somatics work on myself before mm -hmm. uh, you introduced mm -hmm. the work in dogs uh, to me. Mm -hmm. So I had injured my shoulder, went to the doctor, did drugs, did massage, did acupuncture. It got a little better, but never really uh, loosened up. It just was tight, and I kept re-injuring myself um, just through normal movement. And um, after that, I went to acupuncture and continued massage. Acupuncture helped with the pain, but nothing seemed to, even massage didn't help loosen the joint. So luckily, my massage practitioner referred me for Hannah Somatics treatment. And basically what happened was the joint loosened up quickly after three sessions with home exercises. Um, it was well on the way to recovery. And uh, I was actually quite surprised when I said, when's my next appointment after the third? And she said, you don't need to come back. You just need to keep doing your exercises. Mm -hmm. And after that, I learned the series of exercises for the whole body, the catch, stretch mm -hmm. exercises and I've been very happy with them, do them on and off since mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And then I met you, mm -hmm. uh, you taught a class that I took at Meridian, mm -hmm. and um, we got to talking about dogs, and then you showed me how to work with my own dog, mm -hmm. who was mm -hmm. geriatric at the time, and he mm -hmm. benefited, and I've been mm -hmm. using it uh, on and off ever since. So when you're working with dog owners in your office, I understand sometimes you're working with post-surgery, what has been your experiences with them, with canine Hannah Somatics? Yeah, I think that um, it's, that's one of the um, indications that uh, has a lot of uh, potential. Once the primary um, surgical site is on the way to healing, then the Hannah Somatics can uh, really help to um, relax all the muscular contraction around that joint. Mm -hmm to really um, you know, bring the dog back to full function. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same with a broken leg, once the bone is healed, uh, muscular contraction can be released through this work, which will uh, complete the healing and return to function. Mm -hmm. When recovering from injury or post-surgically, there are some compensating muscle contractions. Can you say something about those in your work? Well, certainly when there's um, a localized injury, um, I keep going back to the knee mm -hmm. as an example. When, say, like a ruptured ligament in the knee is repaired, uh, the muscles around that uh, joint tighten um, to um, help stabilize that joint. But the muscles that are attached to that, those muscles also contract. And I think in Western medicine, we tend to look at the injury yeah. and focus on the injury and use drugs for that injury. And that's all well and good. But what all, also happens in these situations is the it's, you know, the muscles around the knee contract. Mm -hmm. They're connected with muscles that are higher up in the leg around the hip, which are connected to lower back muscles, which are connected to the thoracic muscles, and the muscles higher up the spine, mm -hmm. and um, really can affect the entire uh, musculoskeletal system mm -hmm. from one localized injury. Mm -hmm.